Bombard has been quite a formidable hero lately thanks to the buff they gave him and the adjustments they apply to some items. This is most especially true if Bombard is played as a jungler. Despite the favorable patch though, a lot of people are still misplaying him resulting in a very poor overall performance. With that said, let's talk about ways on how to make Bombard a formidable hero. Choosing to take the orange buff first in that game was the right play due to its close proximity from the Litho Wanderer. In addition to that, if the enemy jungler made the mistake of attacking the buff far away from the Litho Wanderer, we have the chance to steal the purple buff. When playing as Bombant, try to be as aggressive as possible. After all, it's the early game where he shines the most. Bombant is the type of hero where early pressure is a necessity. Don't let the game drag down. We have two options here, either we help the gold laner against the two enemies pestering her, or we take more jungle creeps. In our opinion, it was a better idea taking more jungle creeps in that situation in order for Bombant to hit level 4. Bombant is not a hero that is capable of dealing high bursts of damage. Clashing with the heroes on the gold lane while being only level 2 will only delay Bombant's progress. If Tidral was available to clash, then yes, heading to the gold lane is a good idea, but since Tigreal was on the top lane, Bombin was better off farming to avoid getting gapped. As long as our gold laner plays safe, she should be fine. Besides, Aerithel has decent laning capabilities thanks to her skill set. It's only a matter of whether the player controlling her will be careless or not. Sadly, the Aerithel player failed to survive. Aerithel should have just retreated, after all, Bane was there, and Bane is the type of fighter you want to stay out of when you have very little HP because of his long-ranged skill shots. The good news was, Bane was as careless as our Aerithel teammate, so we were able to pawn him. We can use that opportunity to gain more experience and gold, and ultimately, the turtle. When you are playing as a tank roamer, always provide vision when your jungler is taking the turtle. Tigreal should have been scouting the area while we were attacking the turtle. Besides, most tank heroes deal very little damage to objectives. Tanks scouting the area will prove more useful than their very little damage. Since Franco was babysitting Wan Wan the entire laning phase, our team had a huge advantage in controlling the map. This is why babysitting for extended periods of time is never a good idea. A roamer's job is to roam, provide vision, and gank. Babysitting a gold laner is the same as preparing to lose. Since Eudora disappeared from the mid lane, we anticipated that she was headed to the gold lane. We were able to predict that since Alice disappeared from their vision, and she also had full HP, while our allies on the bottom lane had less HP. Remember to check your minimap as frequently as needed since that will help you make better decisions and even predict what the other players are going to do. There was roughly 30 seconds left before the turtle respawns, so we decided to use our retribution. Remember to use that as frequently as needed in order to help your hero farm faster. But be mindful of the turtle or lord's respawn times though. You don't want to use that unless the major objective has been secured. War Axe is Bauman's primary item. This is what makes him overpowered. Without this item, Bombant is not a threat. As much as possible, prioritize this item when you can. It goes perfectly with Bombant's second skill and allows him to deal tremendous damage per second. Not to mention that it also helps increase the user's spell vamp. Another reason why you should get this for Bombant is its cooldown reduction. Bombant is a hero that is more useful the more frequently he can use his second skill, especially now that his second skill is immune to most control effects. You want to be able to use it as much as possible. When you're playing as a jungler, prioritize major objectives. At that moment in the game, Bane was too busy pressuring the gold lane. Sure they were able to take down the gold lane outer turret, but our team was able to secure the turtle. In general, taking down more turrets is important, but during the earlier parts of the game, securing the turtle is equally important as taking down a turret since it rewards the entire team which can give a significant advantage vital for winning the game. In Mobile Legends, efficiency is very important. The team who can farm faster and achieve more major objectives efficiently is most likely to win the game.
We were asking Alice to take the experience scrolls the crab drop, but she didn't see it. For those who are not updated with the recent changes, the crab no longer provides a gold buff. It now drops either experience scrolls or gold. The crab near the XP lane drops experience scrolls, while the crab near the gold lane drops bonus gold. Even if you are a jungler, defending your turrets is still part of your objectives. So if there are no allies nearby capable of defending, take the initiative. Never ignore your turrets when they are under attack. Another item we strongly believe should always be purchased when playing as Bombant is Brute Force Breastplate. This item is both offensive and defensive in nature. It allows the wearer to gain bonus attack and extra movement speed, which prevents the enemies from getting outside of Bombant's range. Not to mention that at max stacks, this item provides control reduction. Also, like stated earlier, Bombant is best played with items that decrease skill cooldown. After taking the turtle, we can either take the mid lane outer turret or destroy the gold lane outer turret. At this point, we were certain that victory is ours. We had good rhythm, turret pushing was done smoothly, objectives are taken, and there were very few forced encounters. While Bane was busy wasting his time chasing a hero outside of his range, we went ahead and started chipping away his purple buff. Again, this is a game of efficiency. Stop wasting time and play smart. Target selection is very important, so make sure to check the minimap and battlefield as frequently as needed in order for you to make better decisions. Aerithel should have just backed away. Not sure why she decided to go head to head with Wan Wan especially since we were already fairly close. It's almost as if she wanted to die just so the kill goes to Bauman. We chose Oracle since it helps Bauman increase the HP he gets from both his passive and spell vamp. In addition to that, you guessed it, cooldown reduction. Taste my axe! Oh! The good thing I have my... <laughs> The Lord. Oh my God, stop throwing my gun! You have to help me. It's an emergency, okay? Unu, unu, unu. Dice, dice, dice. Whenever possible, take the silicone eye away from the enemies. Keep in mind that they can use that to attempt an objective steal. Also, when playing as Bauman, you can use his ultimate to secure the Lord as well. It's best using it as a combo with Retribution. Since our team was winning, we decided to get another physical attack item. Under normal conditions, we would get another defensive item. Hunter Strike is another item that suits Bauman well thanks to its tremendous damage and temporary bonus movement speed which can easily be triggered by Bauman's second skill. Not to mention that it also has cooldown reduction which again is a good stat to have when you are playing as Bauman. Almost forgot, this is the emblem configuration we had in the game. This was primarily focused on spell vamp. With this emblem set, there is no need for you to buy Bloodlust Axe. After all, Bloodlust Axe is a mediocre item. Using this emblem set allows you to get a better equipment instead. Killing Spree was selected to improve Bauman's effectiveness in gaining HP after taking down an enemy hero. The HP regeneration Killing Spree provides stacks with Bauman's passive. That concludes our Mobile Legends content for today. Did we miss any other recommendations applicable in this game? Comment down below. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Stay safe everyone. Peace.